this year's Bilderberg meeting took place in Madrid, Spain, with little media attention. However, there were big names, big companies and big government officials present to discuss bigger topics that'll shape the world for years to come. The 2024 Bilderberg Conference was the event's 70th edition, and there are no signs of winding down. Quite to the contrary, considering the notability of this year's attendees and the scope of the topics discussed, it is clear that the Bilderbergers are more determined than ever to bend the world according to their will. A thorough look at the guests in attendance, the entities they represent, and the links they maintain with each other, is a fascinating yet upsetting experience. Because, seriously, there is no way one cannot be a cons theorist when one realizes that these politicians, megacorporations, journalists and other luminaries are literally colliding behind closed doors in secret meetings. This feeling is exacerbated by the fact that Bilderberg conferences operate under Chatham House rules, which require participants to be sworn to secrecy and not disclose the identity or affiliation of any particular speaker. This year's event occurred from May 30 to June 2 at Eurostar Suites in Madrid. While the high level of security usually surrounds these conferences, this year's event was simply absurd. And, when a fleet of police vans escorted the King of Spain to the conference, although he was not listed in the official list of attendees, while a hive of surveillance drones hovered around the premises, the site resembled a dystopian police state. The discussions at Bilderberg meetings are held in complete secrecy, but its official website usually publishes a rather laconic list of topics on the agenda. This year's topics were State of AI, AI safety, changing faces of biology, climate, future of warfare, geopolitical landscape, Europe's economic challenges, US economic challenges, US political landscape, Ukraine and the world, Middle East, China, Russia. These topics can be summed up in a single sentence. How can we utilize politics, technology, big pharma and the media to bring about a global world order? Here's a look at Bilderberg 2024. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As I said earlier, artificial intelligence was an important topic at Bilderberg 2024. This incredibly powerful technology is currently in its infancy, and you better believe that the global elite wants to shape its development to fit its needs. To do so, the Bilderbergers do not create committees that produce vague recommendations. Nope, they bring in the CEOs of the biggest AI companies and give them orders. Therefore, Bilderberg 2024 included Demis Hassabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, Mustafa Suleiman, the CEO of Microsoft AI, Palmer Lucky, founder of Andrew Industries, and Arthur Mensch, the CEO of Mistral AI. Also, Alex Karp of Palantir Technologies was invited. This massive big data corporation has worked with the CIA, the DHS, the NSA, the FBI, and the CDC. The company's corporate clients include Morgan Stanley, Merck KJ, Airbus, Weho, Lilium, PG&E, and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. One of the company's offerings is Palantir Gotham, a product that uses AI for the dystopian concept of predictive policing, yes, like the movie Minority Report. However, considering the fact that crime is actually on the rise in major cities around the world, some say it is by design, one can ask. What is this technology actually used for? The main goal of the site is to highlight the global elite's total infiltration of mass media. From entertainment to journalism, nearly all media that reaches the masses needs to comply with the elite's agendas. For this reason, Bilderberg meetings always include powerful figures in all forms of media. This year's meeting included Gerhard Zähler, the president of Warner Bros. Discovery International, a media conglomerate that owns brands such as Adult Swim, Boomerang, Cartoon Network, Discovery Channel, TLC, TBS, TNT, and Warner TV. Of course, the music industry cannot be ignored. For this reason, Daniel Lack, the CEO of Spotify, was at the Bilderberg meeting. Was he being told how his near-monopolistic music distribution platform needs to be shaped to serve elite goals? Will it be used to promote elite-friendly artists only? Anyway, I use quotation marks because these people betrayed their profession. The realm of journalism is also important for the Bilderbergers. Representatives of news publications worldwide were invited to the event, including Brett Stevens of the New York Times. 
Zanny Minton Beddoes, the editor-in-chief of The Economist, was in attendance at Bilderberg 2024. John McLethwood, the publication's past editor-in-chief, was also there. The Economist routinely publishes bizarre end-of-year covers that eerily predict events that come to fruition soon after. Is this strange trend happening because they're privy to Bilderberg-level information? Another media-related Bilderberg guest was Farid Zakaria, host of CNN's Farid Zakaria GPS. He's also a Washington Post and Newsweek columnist and a regular guest at the World Economic Forum. Want to see the result of having a journalist rubbing elbows with the world elite? Farid Zakaria praises the elite in 2019 because the world is getting better. This age poorly. Bilderberg 2024 was heavily centered around the business of waging war. The Economist once dubbed Ukraine an AI war lab, describing it as a testing ground for companies like Andrew and Palantir. Both of these companies were mentioned earlier as they were invited to Bilderberg as well. Alex Karp, the CEO of Palantir, once stated, There are things that we can do on the battlefield that we could not do in a domestic context. The IDF is currently using Palantir technology in Palestine in support of war-related missions. This association is generating great profits for the company, as Carp enthusiastically stated, our products have been in great demand. Another guest of honor at Bilderberg is Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. So what is he up to now? War. According to Forbes magazine, Schmidt was so inspired by Ukraine's use of drones on the battlefield that he has spent the past year working on a secret military drone project. Schmidt also said that Ukraine needed sustained financial and technical support from Kyiv's allies. Yes, he's urging governments to fund the war because this taxpayer money would go into his pockets. Appropriately enough, Ukraine's foreign minister, Mitro Kuleba, is also present at Bilderberg 2024. All of the important actors in this war are present at this meeting. It is truly an elite-sponsored AI lab. Other Bilderberg guests include Jen Easterly, director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency of the United States, Taryn Chabra, senior director for Technology and National Security of the United States, and Richard H. Phillips, director of National Intelligence of the United States. What are these government officials dealing with sensitive topics even doing at this meeting? Are they working for the American people? Or the global elite? Stacey Abrams uses an American flag to do a one-eye sign in a 2020 fluff piece by the Washington Post. What better way of showing submission to the global elite over national interests? Sitting at the top of the alphabetical list of Bilderberg attendees is a curious name. Stacey Abrams. The first question that comes to mind is, what is she even doing there? In 2018, she lost the Georgia gubernatorial election to Republican Brian Kemp, but refused to concede. Four years later, she lost again to Kemp by a much larger margin. Despite being rejected by voters, Abrams keeps being artificially propped up by the media and the political establishment. In 2019, she became the first and only non-office holding person ever to deliver the response to the State of the Union address. In 2021, she was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for her nonviolent campaign to get out the vote. Really? This year, she attended the Bilderberg meeting as the CEO of Sage Works Production, a media production company that did not produce anything yet. In other words, she's being groomed by the global elite. For what exactly? I guess that was discussed at Bilderberg 2024. Abrams played the president of United Earth in Star Trek Discovery. You can't make this up. A study of Bilderberg meetings reveals how modern democracies do not follow the will of the people, they follow the will of the elite. If democracies aren't compromised, why are so many heads of state present at these meetings, for example, Mark Rutte, the Netherlands Prime Minister? Also, why are there so many important government officials, for example, Marco Bushman, the Minister of Justice of Germany? Aren't they supposed to serve the people? Because it seems like they're actually serving the elite. Furthermore, why are these elected officials colliding with the heads of big pharma corporations and tech companies that profit from war? Why are they discussing with journalists who have made it a career to promote globalism while shunning those who express diverging opinions? Bilderberg meetings are the only proof needed to understand that theories are not theories at all. They are verified facts. 
Those who do not see it, probably watch too much Fareed Zakaria praising the elite on CNN. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.